It wasn't enough to simply tuck in some more cubes. The factory tweaked the frame as well for an overall beefier appearance. I mean, just cause you are an entry level rider doesn't necessarily mean you have to look like one, right? The new trellis frame is rigid in all the right places. No gidgety, for a nimble nature that delivers the handling that fans of the mark expect, and the eagerness in the corners is due mainly to the 24.7 degree rake and short, 3.6 inch trail. Even though the wheelbase had been shortened to 53.9 inches, the rectangular cross-section swing arm rocks a bit more length and helps reduce weight by connecting directly to the engine transmission assembly to eliminate a few of the frame components. It seems to have helped some since the 400 weighs almost 20 pounds less than the 300, but the factory nickel and dimed the overall mass in a number of places to include the triple tree, wheels and seat. Surprisingly, standard forks float the front end. I suppose the factory opted for the non-adjustable, remove front forks rather than going for inverted, adjustable stems to keep cost down, but I think the world is ready for tunable suspension on the lower tier bike skies. Just saying. The rear shock comes with nothing beyond the obligatory 5-way preload adjustment, so it's just as like a windshield plane as the front.